Hi there, this is Simon from DeepNode. Uh, and in this video, I'd love to show you a new way how to visualize data inside a notebook. All right, so um, you know, let's look at what we got here. So um, I'm loading uh, some data uh, about cars and I have a to-do list here um, with a list of uh, visualizations I'd like to explore. All right, so the first item on the list is just to explore the car data set a bit. Um, so let's create a code cell and just output uh, this data frame. Uh, I, already, I already know that this is a data set with a few hundred car models, um, and it has info like um, the mileage of the car, number of cylinders in the engine, acceleration, horsepower, etc. Also, there's uh, the year of the make and uh, the region of origin. All right, then. So let's let's uh, dive into the into the plotting. Okay. So the next item on our list is to plot the number of car models per year by region. All right. And now instead of typing uh, code to to run a visualization, I'm going to create a new block of type chart that will allow us to to create this plot. So I'm going to select the cars data frame over here, and now you can see that there's a there's a simple UI where you can select uh, which column to plot on the X, Y axis, and, and which to use for color. Uh, DeepNode has pre-selected a bar chart for us, but that's uh, not what we're looking for right now. Uh, so we want the number of car models per year by region. So let's do a simple line chart. And we're going to put year on the X axis and uh, the count of records on the Y axis. So this is a special item that's not really a column, but just counts the records. Uh, in that column for us. All right, so and uh, now we have a simple plot uh, showing us the count of uh, of car models per year. Um, we can see that it's it's going very steady, and here in 1981 and 82 uh, we have a bit of an over over representation. Uh, if we wanted to, um, um, next item on the list is to to group them by region. So I'm gonna color. I'm going to color this by origin, which is our column representing the region. All right, and now we have a plot that uh, we have three uh, lines uh, of different colors, every line for a different origin. All right, this looks good. We can now start to see that uh, USA uh, has the most cars in the data set. If we wanted to switch to an area chart to show the totals, we can just switch to area chart, and now we get um, a nice stacked uh, area chart. All right, I think this is good. We now have a we now have a nice visualization of of just the counts of records per year, per country. Um, let's go for the next to do item. Check if car acceleration correlates with some other column. All right, so um, so we have an assumption that's pretty straightforward that. Uh, the lighter the car, the higher its acceleration is going to be. So let's just check that assumption. Okay, um, let's do a scatter plot, which is good for checking uh, correlations. I'm going to select the point chart, and we'll put uh, the weight on the x-axis and the acceleration on the y-axis. All right, so uh, yeah, the, there does seem to be a slight negative correlation, which is what you would expect more heavier cars um, to have lower acceleration. Okay, um, and let's let's add cylinders to the picture. So, so um, usually heavier cars have uh, uh, more cylinders in their engines. So let's try and color this by cylinders. And as you can see, uh, we, we've got a, a smooth scale of color for the cylinders because it's, it's a number, but we really want to treat it more of a, a more as a category. So I'm going to switch the type of the cylinders here to categorical. Now that's more like it. Now we can see that the green colors are, are eight cylinder engines and the orange colors are uh, four cylinders. And the data shows what you would expect that the heavier the car, the more cylinder it's going to have. Uh, yeah, so we have uh, so what we got here is a nice scatter plot of of acceleration versus versus weight colored by the number of cylinders in the engine. All right, so the next question is how are the number of cylinders related to region? 
Uh, okay, so let's do a bar chart for this one. Uh, I'm going to duplicate the cell through the command palette just so I already have something set up. And let's let's switch this to a bar chart, and we'll put um, count in the x-axis and the origin on the y-axis. And we already have cylinders uh, in the column. And we can see that the uh, USA produces eight cylinder engines, basically as the only country, and even the six cylinder ones are are uh, mostly produced in the USA. Um, probably has to do with gas prices in the, in the regions. All right, then one would assume that the more cylinders a car has, the, the higher the fuel consumption is gonna be. So let's just check that if it's true. I'm gonna duplicate this cell again, and we'll do a, we'll do a standard vertical uh, bar chart this time. Let's just put, uh, mm, miles per gallon on the x-axis and count on the y-axis and let's let's color by it by origin all right so so this is this is starting to look nice but there's too many bars in here because miles per gallon is a is a number but what we can do is go into the extra options and just turn on binning for miles per gallon and now we get a really nice histogram uh, all right and you can see that the uh, the US cars are getting lower mileage, so higher fuel consumption, and the European and Japanese cars dominate the right hand side of this, this plot. All right, and now for the last question, create a heat map of car count by cylinder and year. All right, so uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a tricky one because uh, I'm just going to create a bar chart, which is not really something you'd use for a heat map. So this is kind of a, kind of a trick I'm going to show you. Um, okay, so let's put year on the x-axis again and the number of cylinders on the y-axis and let's color it by count so that we get that heat map. Alright, but this doesn't look good at all. That's because year and cylinders are both treated as number. Year is as time, so let's change it to categorical and the number of cylinders as a number, so again let's change it to a categorical one. Alright, so now, now we see that we get some sort of a heat map uh, one thing I don't like is that uh, since we're treating cylinders as categorical variable, it's it's not ascending on the y-axis, uh, which is what I want. So I'm just going to go here and change the sort to be uh, descending. All right. And so this is kind of an uh, interesting use of a bar chart, but it, it works. We see that we get a nice heat map of, of cylinders per year, and uh, the heat is basically the, the, the number of car types in that specific uh, point. All right, and so it seems like we've done all of our uh, to-do items. I didn't need to type a single line of code to produce these visualizations. Um, so DeepNode uh, chart blocks are built on uh, Altair and Vegalite, both awesome visualization libraries. Yeah, give them a shot. 